Hello, my friends. Let's take a look at this one. This is an interesting mathematical challenge at the 6th grade level. As shown in the figure, the lengths of four sides are known, and you are asked to calculate the area of the shadow part. Since you are supposed to be in the 6th grade, anything related to the concept of square root is not allowed to use in the calculation. If you want to give a try, pause the video please, and we will come back soon. Let's start from the area of a triangle. It is in fact totally fine, if you are not familiar with how to calculate the area of a triangle, but at least you may know that, if you have a right triangle, and you add another same triangle, you will get a rectangle. So the area of the right triangle is half of its corresponding rectangle. Now, let's get back to this figure. We can see that, the whole rectangle is consist of the target shadow part X. The right triangle A. Right triangle B. Right triangle C. And the triangle D. So we can calculate the areas of those parts one by one. The area of the triangle A equals to 22 times 22 over 2, equals to 242. Area B equals 10 times 10 over 2, equals to 50. For the area C, we need to first calculate the side length, which equals to 22 minus 10 equals to 12. So its area is 12 times 12 over 2, equals to 72. The area of triangle D is not calculated in the same way. Because we can add a line to easily dive D into two parts. Each part is totally the same as triangle B. So the area of D equals to 2 times the area of B, equals to 100. Now, it is the turn of the whole rectangle, which equals to 22 times the summation of 22 plus 10 so it equals to 704. Therefore, the area of the shadow part is 704, minus 242, minus 50, minus 72, and minus 100, equals to 240. So, we make it. Certainly, once we learn the concept of square root, the question will be very simple then, and the shadow area equals to 10 times square root of 2 multiplied 12 times square root of 2, which naturally equals to 240. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.